Hello everybody and welcome back to the WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. We are here on Raw and we're going to be kicking things off with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. This is going to be one hell of a match. Some, this is the final episode of Raw Before SummerSlam, which is coming to you guys very, very soon. Uh, soon, I should say, soon. It's coming to you very, very soon, and it's going to be awesome. We got matches declared. We got the match card pretty much set. And while well, AJ Styles is it surprisingly is not on the card and while well, fighting for that opportunity here because if he beats his opponent Bobby Lashley he'll be added to the Intercontinental Championship match making it a triple threat match AJ Styles huge opportunity on the line Bobby Lashley already gonna be facing off against Rey Mysterio at SummerSlam And this is going to be one hell of a matchup. So let's get AJ's opponent out here. <coughs> and also, speaking of SummerSlam, on the last episode of SmackDown, The Undertaker made a very, very surprise appearance. And, well, issued an open challenge to anybody from any locker room that would like, uh, I should say, of any roster to uh, show up and face him, face the dead man in no holds barred at SummerSlam. So we'll be finding out who is going to take that challenge. Anyways, Bobby Lash is set for one-on-one -on -one action against AJ Styles. And just... <laughs> I mean, Lashley, he's just probably, in my opinion, he's probably the most powerful man we have on the roster. Manhandling AJ. But it's Styles. Now attacking the uh, leg into a little bit of a Boston Crab, single leg, but Lashley way too strong for that. It's AJ Styles with a reversal. As I said, while AJ is walking his way down the uh, aisle, that um, Bobby Lashley is already going to be going to SummerSlam to take on Mysterio for the Intercontinental title. Rey Mysterio will be having to defend two titles at SummerSlam, both the Intercontinental as well as the Cruiserweight Championship. I'm also going to uh, tell you that there's going to be five different parts to SummerSlam. Part one, part all the way to part five. Just so we can get all 15 matches in. There'll be three matches per part. Beautiful neckbreaker from Styles. Oh my god! <coughs> <coughs> What? Oh, not even one count. All right. And a big belly to belly. Styles has taken an unbelievable amount of offense in this matchup from Lashley. Oh, one for a crossbody. Again with a big punch. Lashley's been on top this entire match. What the hell is AJ doing? Oh boy, on the hardest part of the ring! AJ was looking for something big there. Looks like Bobby Lashley is too strong. And Lashley. Not sure what he was looking for there. Oh, into the WWE Universe. We're for the count of seven.
Run for the count of eight! Run for the count of nine, Bobby La Lashley's stuck! It's a double count out? What does that mean for SummerSlam? I don't know, we'll have to find out. Alrighty everybody, we just saw a double count out. <coughs> um, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna impact SummerSlam. Uh, Steve Austin, our general manager, has got a lot to think about. Anyways, it's time for some tag team action up in here. And here come the Street Profits. The Street Profits have been kind of on a mix in our universe mode. Be, uh, they've been bouncing between successful and unsuccessful. I'd say they're right in between. They've won matches and they've lost matches. Anyway, Street Profits set for tag team action against our Raw Tag Team Champions. The Revival, I'm oh, not the Revival, I'm thinking of SmackDown. Uh, the Undisputed Era. <coughs> <coughs> Adam Cole obviously coming along with them. Adam Cole's the leader of the Undisputed Era. He's also, he's gonna be competing later on in the episode. Actually, he's gonna be competing in the main event. All three of these men have a, a huge challenge individually at SummerSlam because all three of these members will go one-on-one -on -one with a member of Evolution. It'll be first, Kyle O'Reilly versus ba uh, Batista. Then it'll be Bobby Fish versus Randy Orton. And then, in the final part, it'll be Adam Cole versus the game, Triple H. That is going to be one hell of a match. SummerSlam is going to be one hell of a pay-per-view. I should say free for view as well. Because we don't pay. We don't make you pay. Which is good. Because that would suck. Anyways. Adam Cole. Leader of the Undisputed Era. This is going to be one hell of a match. So let's get this thing rolling. Maybe Kyle Riley starting things off with Montez Ford. Interesting. It's underneath. A oh, beautiful kick. <coughs> Catches Ford. Oh, beautiful draw kick. I'm just gonna say that that kick that delivered from Kyle Riley was one hell of a super kick. And yet again with a drop kick, leveling. O'Reilly, in comes Angela Dawkins. And Kyle Riley being very, very smart and using the outside to get back to his corner. Locking Montez off the apron. Very smart maneuver. Now going after Angelo Dawkins with the knee across the face. Be Bobby Fish going up top. That's something you don't really see too often. Montez Ford staying at quite a distance away. Beautiful missile draw kick delivered to the back of Angelo Dawkins. And now Bobby Fish taking it yet again to Montez Ford. Against the ropes now and hanging him up to dry. Not sure what O'Reilly was looking to do there. Anyways. Oof, beautiful. I went for a double team there. You can see the crowd erupting for the Undisputed Era.
Beautiful reversal. I think the crowd here love Bobby Fish. Well, maybe not now. Went for the knee. Went for the uh, punch right across the face. It's Angela Dawkins to the body slam. Beautiful splash in the corner. I think Bobby Fish really needs to make a tag in this matchup to Kyle O'Reilly. That's like a must have. That's like that's a must have in this matchup as a tag. No, taunting. Oh, went for a spear off the apron. She's gonna hang up the drive of the stun gun. Bobby Fish, there's that kick. He's finally got offense in this matchup. Beautiful hip toss. Five inch carry neck breaker. Went for a hard tag. You can see the welts beginning to form on the upper chest. Tag in comes O'Reilly. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. There it is. The tag team finisher. Oh, and it's oh, Angel Dawkins to break it up. What an upsetting thing. Oh, we don't jump to the tag team partner. <coughs> Montez Ford somehow getting a bit of offense back in this matchup. There's the DDT. This match has been insane. For the pin. One. What the hell's going on? What the hell's happening on the outside? I'm so confused what was happening on the outside, honestly, but Montez Ford with a bit more in this matchup. Going up top. Went for the splash. Kicks out the knee. Oh, beautiful. One! Went for a crucifix rolled up. Going for a brain buster now. There it is! Brain buster! One! Two! Montez Ford gets the shoulder up. Into the ear corner. Big hit across the face. Oh, wait a second, guillotine! Four taps, so! Your winners of the Undisputed Era! The Raw Tag Team Champions! Great match! Oh, wait a second. Oh, come on. <coughs> the Undisputed Era now sending a statement for what's to come. 
at SummerSlam. Anyways, despite the fact of this, the winners are the Undisputed Era. Alrighty, everybody, it's time for our next matchup. We have Rusev already in the ring. And uh, we just saw one hell of a match between the Undisputed Era and the Street Profits. The Raw Tag Team Champions coming up victorious in that match. But speaking of champions, here comes the WWE Champion who is set to defend his championship at SummerSlam in a steel cage match against Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins is going to be competing in the main event against Adam Cole. He's actually going to be facing Triple H. At SummerSlam, went over that earlier on. Anyways, Drew McIntyre set for one-on-one -on -one action against the Bulgarian Brute. That's gonna be this is gonna be one hell of a match. Two very, very big men. Anyways, we saw a sign there. Uh, avoid the claymore if you can. Rusev better be looking at that sign because that's a very good tip. But <laughs> McIntyre getting the early elbow right across the face of elbow uh, uh, right across the face of elbow what am I what? right across the face of Rusev and I mean Rusev has a history of uh, facial injuries so that one there re did really hurt him at one point he had a broken nose a beautiful urinalgi it's R McIntyre went for a big knee And it's Rusev with a backbreaker. Drew McIntyre wants to take as little punishment in this matchup as possible because he is going to be defending that championship at SummerSlam. And I mean, speaking of this matchup, I mean, if Rusev were to walk out of this one victorious, that would be a huge for Rusev's career. A win against the WWE Champion before SummerSlam? That's very, very big. Over the past little while, McIntyre's been very, very successful. And now Rusev turning him around. Oh my god, that's a big boot. Well, not quite a one count. And there's a beautiful neck breaker. Went for a kick to the midsection, but Rusev able to hit a beautiful hip attack. And Rusev with a headbutt. The Bulgarian Brute absolutely going insane in this matchup. Drew McIntyre was hitting his shoulder before one count. And now Rusev with a beautiful suplex. Machka kick! Submission hold here on McIntyre. Is McIntyre going to tap out to Rusev just before SummerSlam? Referee now. One. Oh, what? What? What the hell? Are you kidding me? Why is Shawn Michaels here? What the hell is Shawn Michaels doing here? Shawn Michaels, a general manager of SmackDown is here on Raw? And why is he helping McIntyre? Scottish Kiss! <coughs> <coughs> McIntyre Claymore! One! Two! Oh my god, Rusev kicked out. But what the hell is Shawn Michaels do- what? 
Uh, I'm dead confused. If I'm gonna be honest, I am very confused. What the hell? <laughs> A break of the eyes! And a massive takedown from Rusev. <coughs> Mutka kick. Says press. This match is absolutely awesome. I'm just so I'm so shocked to see why in the name of hell. Was Shawn Michaels here? He's contending with Raw right now. Why is he helping it? And Rusev, I mean, he's been taking control of this matchup fairly well. Right for the count of four. Now at five. I mean, if Rusev wants to get a really good win, I recommend getting it inside the ring out of nowhere oh wait a second mrs. wildly mm. WWE champion went from behind unable to connect yet again unable to connect and Rusev backed Beautiful punch. These men are reversing everything. This is amazing. Scottish kiss. McIntyre on the complete other side of the ring. Rusev now. Claymore. One. Two, three, McIntyre wins. What a match. And I just don't know what happened. Why the hell was Shawn Michaels here? I mean, it plays on to the fact that Drew McIntyre always needs help to win. But at, at SummerSlam, that's not going to happen because he's going to be locked inside of a steel cage with Seth freaking Rollins. That was the first Claymore. And the second one was the one that put him away. Anyways, oh, come on now. This is just childish. Attacking Rusev after the match. Come on. And Rusev has, can't really fend for himself. Scottish kiss. McIntyre on the other side of the ring. This year's just making a statement to Seth Rollins. Rusev's head is going to go to the 18th row. For the third time. Clay Moore kick. Okay, buddy. We have a women's tag team match coming up. And here comes the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair is going to be teaming up with the current NXT Women's Champion, uh, Lacey Evans. And they'll be taking on Kyrie Sane and the Raw Women's Champion, Oscar. Anyways, this match is gonna be awesome. So why don't we get everybody out here? And here comes the NXT Women's Champion, Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans won that championship by defeating Ember Moon in a fairly decent match. She ended up winning that matchup with obviously the women's right. Lacey Evans' right hand. Well, 
Like Sam, in my opinion, somebody that has a very, very good chance in the future for in WWE. And here comes their opponents starting it off with Kyrie saying. Kyrie Sane is known as the Pirate Princess because of her uh, childlike personality. Anyways, Kyrie Sane kind of going back to the Kabuki Warriors kind of thing. So let's get to Empress of Tomorrow. And the Raw Women's Champion out here. Oh boy. And here comes Asuka. The current Raw Women's Champion set for tag team action alongside her tag team partner Kyrie Sane obviously the Kabuki Warriors anyways with that we got tag team action and that's about to start so let's just get this bell and the match is now on Kyrie Sane gonna be starting things off but the probably the Definitely the woman the massive size advantage over Kyrie singing in this matchup Not just size but weight and in height and muscle like everything Everybody in this match is a, a lot bigger than Kyrie saying as saying delivers a spear to the chest of flair a bit of a Natural selection there, kind of playing along with Charlotte Flair's other finisher yet again with the natural selection into the Kabuki Warrior corner, and in comes Oscar making the tag. And look at that! That is annoying as Charlotte Flair takes out. Lace salmon's now legal. We were probably we were about to get a a little bit of a uh, idea of what would happen come SummerSlam, which is coming up very shortly. Obviously, the final few episodes of the Universe Mode before SummerSlam. Obviously, final Raw, final SmackDown coming up tomorrow, NXT the day after, as well as 205. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be having a, a special guest commentator for it as well as Oscar delivers the hip attack in the corner Now going right after Lee Sammons with that knee and Lee Sammons Connects with a drop kick. I should say Ember, uh, Ember Moon Oscar with that drop kick Connecting on to Lee Sammons tag in comes Kyrie Sane Beautiful the Kabuki Warriors taking control of this matchup. And Charlotte Flair. Beautiful! Tornado neckbreaker delivered to uh, uh, from Asuka. Asuka nearly got counted out. And that would suck. A beautiful reversal there by Evans and she just tosses Kyrie Sane over the top rope but Sane is insane right now she's going I, she's been doing wonderful in this matchup and I mean yeah pinning the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship is one thing but how about pinning the current NXT Women's Champion same with Asuka Imagine a dual women's champion. I don't think that's ever happened It'll be Lee Sammons on the outside Spinning back fist Sane going up top 
Here she goes, Pirate Princess! Insane elbow! And it's Charlotte Flair breaking it up. Oscar, the Raw Women's Champion, spearing her off the apron. Beautiful draw kick to the back of Evans for the pin on Evans. One, two, oh, nearly had her. Neck breaker. No, oh, okay. I don't blame Kyrie Sane for that. Going up top now. It's been a while since there's been a tag on the uh for for uh, Kyrie I don't know for Kyrie Sane, but for Charlotte Flair and Lacey Evans. You know, just bouncing her face off the apron. I should say off the mat, not apron. Apron's on the outside of the ring. And tag in comes Flair. And tag in comes Asuka. This is SummerSlam early. Asuka going right after Flair. Beautiful draw kick yet again connecting. And Asuka going ham on the Flair. Into the corner. Referee knocked. And Oscar now going for a tornado DDT. And it connects. Beautiful. Calling Flair to her feet. Turning around. Kick to the mid -touch. And here we go. Hip attack. For the pin on Flair. One. Two. And Flair kicks out. I'm not sure what just happened there, but okay, you gotta love the 2K logic. <coughs> <coughs> now, Asuka, the only woman left standing at 100%. Now going after Cheryl Flair. There it is. But look at Lacey Evans now. Trying to break up the, the, the submission and does. Tag in comes Kyrie saying. I've been lo I'm really loving the, the frequent tags in this matchup for the Kubuki Warriors. Great teamwork. Missed the draw kick. Flair still legal this matchup. I know I pretty much just said this, but Flair should try to make a tag to a tag team partner in this matchup. Roll up! <laughs> Flair with that drop toe hold. One for the leg, I believe. Turns around. And Flair now. Beautiful maneuver. And now, pretty much deadlifting Kyrie Sane. And now the Flair strut. Oscar can't do anything. Oh, Kyrie Sane! Kyrie Sane out of nowhere! Spinning back fist! Up top! But Lacey Evans! And Oscar trying to get the referee's attention! That was bull! And Lacey Evans again! But a spear! And it says press! Kyrie Sane getting revenge on Lacey Evans for what just happened! 
Lacey Evans now in the position. In Shane Elbow. And that's going to end the match. Kyrie Sane just pinned the NXT Women's Champion, the Kabuki Warriors, win. That was one hell of a match. See a few replays for this one. The Kabuki Warriors were in control for the majority because of frequent tags where Charlotte Flair and Lacey Evans didn't overly work together overly much. But we saw a little bit of SummerSlam early and then that's where Lacey Evans was able to stop that and then Kyrie Sane took control pretty much from there. Anyways, the Kabuki Warriors pick up a victory here on Raw. Anyways, it's time for our main event, so let's get to it. Alrighty, everybody, it's time for the main event of Raw. And what a match we have here for you. Seth freaking Rollins set for one-on-one -on -one action against the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. And both of these men have a date at SummerSlam. A big match is... Anyway, Seth Rollins will be fighting for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam in a steel cage match against the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. And Adam Cole is going to be taking on Triple H, the game, one-on-one. -on -one. And that's going to be a hell of a match as well. But anyways, this one's going to be good. So let's get to it. And this is the second time we're seeing Adam Cole here in this episode. Adam Cole, uh led the Undisputed Era to victory earlier on by defeating uh, what was it again? The Street Profits. It was, it was a really good match. But anyways, at, while that match was going on, Adam Cole but had to keep his uh, uh, sights set towards the main event and then he's also got to keep his sights set towards Triple H at SummerSlam. So, let's get to it. Bell is rung in this match is now officially on Seth Rollins already went for something there. This is a dream match in my opinion mm. Adam Cole then Irish whip into that far corner Seth Rollins beautiful takedown and Draw kick right to the side of Cole this is a match I would love to see at WrestleMania even. This is a WrestleMania quality matchup here in the main event of Raw. And beautiful clothesline. Rollins already going to the top rope. Rollins is something that does not mind flying. Be oh, missed the draw kick. S almost got sent over the ropes. Adam Cole back to his feet, rolls up outside, missed the missile draw kick. This match has been so back and forth. And we've and we're only in the first, like, somewhat, two minutes? And now Rollins sending Cole to the outside. Sorry about that, my voice just died on me. And yet again, drop toe hold. A beautiful maneuver there from Adam Cole, baby. Not even a one count as Cole delivered a knee right to the back of Rollins. Now sent to the barricade. Rollins sending Cole back into the ring. Went for the knee. Okay. His legs just buckled very, very badly. And we know Rollins has an... Uh, history of knee injuries at one point even had to get his t uh, ACL completely repaired 
And Rollins got to turn that one there around. Oh, wait a second. Flips through. There's the kick. Adam Cole with that run-in. Payback prepared. Seth Rollins. Stomp. For the pin on Cole. One. Two. Cole gets the shoulder up. Great start to this matchup. And now it's Rollins going up top. But for the elbow drop, Adam Cole with a signature. Kick. Oh, right to the back of the fi uh, right to the back of the neck. Adam Cole now could be going for that last shot. And there it is, last shot to Seth Rollins for the pin. One. Seth Rollins just cannot. Seth Rollins just kicked out a last shot at a one count. What do you mean? For the pin again on Rollins. One. Two. Nearly had him. Exhaustion starting to set in for Seth. But he kicks up out of nowhere. And Rollins now with a comeback maneuver. Swing blade. Rollins going up top. Seth. There's the splash. One. Two. Nearly had him again. What does Seth have to do to win this matchup? Beautiful. Kick to the midsection. Seth Rollins. Stomp. For the pin on Adam Cole. One. Two. Three. Seth is going to SummerSlam victorious. What a match. This is a match I'd see ten times over. Anyways. The good thing for all is that he was in control for a lot of this matchup. So SummerSlam. He may have a decent, a slightly better chance at winning. But Adam Cole went through hell in this matchup. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. This is the end of the video, sadly. But. Smackdown is going to be coming up very, very soon, more than likely tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned to watch that. Seth Rollins is going to SummerSlam. Very, very confident. Speaking of which, SummerSlam is right around the corner. We'll hope to see you then.